Welcome back, folks. I have here one of my best performances, one of my top XP earned per battle of any random match for the tanks. So I'm playing the tier 7 American light tank, the T-71. I love this tank because it's small, it's fast, it has 900 damage per clip, so that's pretty good, in 10 seconds. And the reload is not that long, so it's about 20 seconds or so, so it's pretty good of a light tank. It can perform passive scouting and active scouting, whereas the LTTB is more of an active scout and the AMX 1375 is more of a passive scout. This vehicle combines both of the scouting aspects of playing light tanks, so I quite enjoy playing this vehicle. But this matchup is pretty rough, 36% chance to win. It is an open field map, and I'll demonstrate how important light tanks are to the impact of this battle just because they have the camouflage rating and the view range so basically if you're playing a light tank you better survive so i like to play passive scouts because not that stressful and it's kind of pointless to compete with medium tanks and heavy tanks on the ridge to spot so to cluster so don't cluster up but we're passive scouting this type 59 be patient and it is a 36% chance to win so I'm a little bit more cautious I fired the first shot did not get spotted so I tried to shoot this 5120 bounce the second shot off the round to turn it it is APCR so they lose more penetration over distance than AP and has only two degrees of normalization compared to the five on the AP so ugh. But it is APCR, so it flies faster, which is good. Since we did not spot anybody, we push up to passive spot a little bit more. But as you can see, with light tanks, it's a lot easier to move up and spot. Whereas if you play medium tanks, if you do get spotted, you get shot at and you're dead. Or heavy tanks, even worse. So we're taking our time, be patient. Do not fire the gun unless you're sure that nobody can see you after you fire. So make sure you have a bush or a tree to muffle out the muzzle flash of your barrel. Keep a tree or any foliage between your tank and the opponent's vehicle. So we only have a T-54 and a Mutz on this flank with a few heavy tanks and FE-4202 not that strong of a left flank want to take out this type 59 be patient so don't play recklessly recklessly as that T-71 your scout scouts are very important so we're spotting this Porsche Tiger don't want to shoot yet because of the Indian Panzer be patient we're still spotting the Type 59. Be patient. Detract him. Or somebody else detract him. Come on, shoot, please. We lost the T-54. Oh, no. Alright, he's backing off. There's the Indian Panzer. He's behind a bush. He disappeared. He's back again. Permission to engage. Come on, please shoot him, team. There you go. Thank you. So once the Porsche Tiger has moved up and the Indian Panzer uh, and the T or Type 59 has moved off from my view range, so I am safe to shoot, I guess, on this Porsche Tiger. I should not get spotted, but the last shot got spotted by the Type 59, so I get hit. Take a shot in the engine, quickly repair it, and move off before he gets another shot off. Run! Oh boy, E50, AMX 5120, STA, and a T34, I believe. Oh boy, and a Romto Borsig. Alright, keep running. So there's a Romto Borsig, there's a Type 59. I thought to myself, this flank is pretty much lost. 
just hang around a little bit more for the Type 59. Be patient. So move up to spot. There's the Type 59. Try to shoot the lower plate. Missed. Back away. Back away. Fire a few warning shots. Alright, reload. There's the E50. He has to press over. He has 5 degrees of gun depression and 10 to the size, but he still has to press over to shoot at me. Same goes for the 5120. But the STA has 10 degrees, so that's a problem. Run, Sam, run. Ooh. Takes a hit from the STA. Serpentine. Nope, oh, lags. Serpentine, serpentine. 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 Keep serpentine. <laughs> if you're playing light tank, if you're moving in a straight line, you get shot at. So keep serpentine, keep bushes, and run. So right now you can see that their Waffen Trigger Panzer IV has been caught out by himself. So we're going for him. Go towards the Waffen Trigger. Now I'm at 345 health. Everybody could one shot me other than the Tiger II, unless he rolls high, or the STA. So be patient. Use the bush. There are no ways to get up here from the other side of this gorge or riverbed. Oh, we spotted the Panzer IV Waffen Trigger. Put a few shots into him. Oh, he's toast. Alright, reload. I almost dodged the Type 59 shot on the engine block. Oh well. So move away. I noticed that nobody has been spotted on this hill, which is very important, but nobody's been there. So I'm thinking the Tiger II or the WZ-111 could be up there. So I'm going to spot for this prototype, the T-28 prototype. But playing active scouts and playing passive scouts, you had to be very aware of the map development. So situational awareness and outcomes of your opponent's positioning. So we're trying to spot the Tiger II and the WZ-111. They are not on the hill, or at least they're inside the little roundedness on top of the hill. So they're in haul down position. Trying to move up. Nobody spots me, so that's good. I'm going to spot for our prototype and WZ-111 and KV-4 and T-54E-1. Spots the E-75. No shot to the side armor. His side armor is 120, but it's upslope from the railroad tracks. And this vehicle has 175 millimeters of penetration. That drops off pretty quickly for the APCR show, so I am keep bouncing the side armor. Ugh. But nobody's up here, surprisingly. So, alright, I'm going to sit here then. This is a crow's nest, so it's a very good position for light tanks because we can spot all across the cap circle. We have a tree between us and this Tiger 2, so. He is going to get pummeled in the side armor and likely hits the engine block, or not the engine block, the ammo rack. But basically, if you shoot a German tank in the side armor, it's likely going to be the ammo rack. I shot the turret a little bit. Alright, good job to our WZ 111s holding off the top. He tracked the E 75. He still hasn't spotted me. There's a long to Borsig. Uh, he's easier to penetrate. A lot easier. Still try to get rid of this P75 because he is a tougher nut to crack. But, oh well. We lost one WZ111. So that sucks, but they managed to hold off the top. That's good. The E50 is pulling back to reset the cap. So right now, I'm providing overwatch and fire support. <laughs> fire support from a tier 7 light tank in a tier 9 matchup. Ugh. We're going to snipe this E50. 
Eh, he's gone. Find another target. That's good. The E50 has 80 millimeters of side armor, so not a problem. The STA-1. No shot. Be patient. E75 is back. The prototype has moved up, so that's good. He might provide better fire support. But I'm getting tired of shooting at this E75 and bouncing. So I'm going to shoot the Borsig. Borsig, you are so weakly armored that can chew on you. And he's toast. Alright. So I thought to myself, screw it. High explosive anti tank. The high explosive anti tank has 210 millimeters of uh, penetration and it will not decrease in penetration values over distance. But I spot this WZ111 late to the party. I did not shoot right here because there are no bushes or foliage to cover my shots. Right now I can shoot without him spotting me. Alright. Uh, plate. Yeah, E75 is back. Have some. Yeah, there we go. Finally. The high explosive at the tank does not drop in penetration values, but it does not have normalization against slope armor. And high explosive at the tank against space armor means nothing. So, blah. There goes my clip of high explosive premium shells. <laughs> Alright, we move up to kill this WZ. Go, knock him out. And it's a 3 versus 4 matchup. I'm almost dead, so I'm a one shot other than the STA. So I'm going back to the crow's nest to spot because that's a, such a good position to spot from. It overwatches the whole cap circle and the entrances from the railways. So it's likely the STA is in the cap circle or E75. There he is. See, such a good spot. Spotting him behind the building. <laughs> How the hell? It's probably because the little edge underneath the roof. There we go. Good job, WZ. I think he's firing high explosive. Maybe. Oh well. Good job at London nonetheless. So I'm watching for the 5120. There he is. Gotcha. So it's such a good position on this hill. And the T28 prototype provides overwatch fire. Ready to fire. There's the STA. That shell looks like high explosive anti tank. The T34 is going for our WZ111. But funny enough, there is the infamous artillery suicide dip or nook in that river and the t-34 found out that that position is not the best to go in as a heavy tank and he drowned <laughs> all right three against two i do not have enough time to cap so i should reload but i did not pay attention my mistake only has 14 shells left. Be patient. Yeah, I do not have enough time to cap. But thankfully, the WZ is pushing up to help me with this STA. The T28 prototype has overwatch, so he'll provide cover fire. The AMX 5120 will have a hard time shooting at the T28 prototype because he will get spotted and he doesn't have the gun depression and aim time to shoot the T28 prototype long enough to clip him out. So I'm going for this STA. Use the bushes. I should reload. Uh, I really should reload. I believe this STA is firing high explosive entertainment because the shell travel from him to the T28 prototype was a little bit slow, so that's probably high explosive anti tank. Oh crap! Missed the shot. Don't get rammed. Penetrated one shot. Sucked. 
Suck. Get out. Okay, that was... <laughs> that was so ungraceful. Ugh. Get out. Go, WZ. Shoot him. And there's the high explosive anti-tank. He penetrated. <laughs> I mean, it's a super high roll for AP shell on the D25T. That's really high. So good job to the WZ. Has five seconds left of this match. Four, three, two, one. Clutch. <laughs> Clutch. And that's the game. So on the buzzer. Ah, this game is so intense. All 15 minutes of it. Ugh. And there you go, folks. One of my best performances, one of my highest XP earned in a single match. So, 2024. That's pretty good. We spotted 5,000 damage. We dealt 3,650 damage in a tier 7 light tank against tier 9s and tier 8s. I could have done the LT15, but I did not unlock it. So, god damn it. <laughs> I did so well. This is like one of the, one of the best games in my lifetime. And nope, did not accomplish the LT15 for the Object 260. You son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, but whatever. So we spotted and dealt devastating damage to tier eights and tier nines. So that's how you should play light tanks. And light tanks are very important, but due to the rotation of the maps, we get a lot of town maps and corridor maps, so light tanks are pretty much useless. But if you're playing in an open field map, light tanks are very devastating or very beneficial to your team success if the driver knows how to drive them. Otherwise, they're just pretty much suicide scouts. <laughs> but yeah, if you're playing a light tank well, 36% chance to win, yeah, they have to earn it. It's not that easy. <laughs> So, almost the most damage out of two teams, but the E75 was not being penetrated, and the AMX5120 dealt a little bit more damage, so I could have killed you so easily. Ugh. But, oh well. Yeah, we dealt the most damage on our team, and only 25 less than the highest damage dealt by both teams, so not that bad. Freaking E75 cannot penetrate the freaking side armor. Ugh. Oh, still shocked about the penetration of the APCR drop off. Oh well. But yeah, fire 51 shots, hit 40 of them, only penetrated like half. <laughs> oh, light tank, whatever. But yeah, the best performances that I ever had. So 2000 XP would be 3036 that's my personal record so that's pretty good but did not have a premium account so this did not get registered as my best performance so that's a bummer but there you go folks that's how you should play light tanks very devastating so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time peace Tip for the scales of fate From pools of tears on this earth Reaches a hand Searching for distant lights Oh, lead us now To the tomorrow With the unbreakable sword Only you can wield to give True.